Hey, if you're enjoying these writing lessons and want to practice your writing, then get even more writing lessons and printable writing practice sheets inside our learning program. So sign up for a free lifetime account right now. It takes less than 30 seconds. Just click the link in the description to sign up and start learning in seconds. 10 hardest words to pronounce. Let's go. Our first word is bokon zokni. Socks for boots. Bokonch zokni. Socks for boots. One bokonch zoknid. Do you have socks for boots? This word, bokonch zokni, consists of two separate parts. The first part is bokonch, which means boots, and zokni is socks. And the reason why it could be harder to pronounce is that at the end of bokonch, you can see the CS, which is a Hungarian digraph. And then the next word, zokni, begins with a Z. So you have three consonants at one place. And when you pronounce it, it's probably better to divide the word into parts, like bakanch and zokni. Try to say it matching all together. Bakanch zokni. Socks for boots. Cukrozacko. Sugar bag. Cukrozacko, sugar bag. Egy cukrozacskó van az asztalon. There is a sugar bag on the table. Egészségedre. Bless you. Our next entry is an expression. Egészségedre. Bless you. You say this expression when someone sneezes or when you're having a drink. So it's also used when you want to say cheers. And you just say, Egészségedre, and you click your glasses. Használt ruha kereskedés. Second hand clothing store. Használt ruha kereskedés. Second hand clothing store. A posta mellett van a használt ruha kereskedés. The second hand clothing store is next to the post office. This entry, használt ruha kereskedés, could be difficult to pronounce because it's quite long but just practice by first saying these two parts on their own. Használt ruha, and then kereskedés. So all together it's használt ruha kereskedés. There is also um, a shortened version in Hungarian for this type of uh, stores. People would say turkálo or turi because the image is that when you go to these kind of second-hand clothing stores, um, sometimes they pile up clothes in a big pile, and then you are digging for your items. So it's not always on hangers, but they just throw a bunch of items to a place, and then you can get items from that area actually cheaper. Listezsák, flower bag. Listezsák. Flower bag. A lisztezsák kiukat és lisztes lett minden. The flower bag got punctured and there was flour on everything. Have you ever had this experience? Magányugdíj pénztár. Private pension fund. Magányugdíj pénztár. Private pension fund. A magányugdíj pénztár kedvező ajánlatot kínál. The private pension fund has a favorable offer. This word is pretty long, so that's why it could be a little bit difficult. But again, I would say that the best way you can remember this is to break it into parts. So you can practice by just saying first magán, then nyugdi, then pénztár, and all together it's magán nyugdi pénztár. Mézes kalácsütés. Baking of gingerbread. Mézes kalács sütés. Baking of gingerbread. Mézes kalács sütést tervezünk karácsony előtt. We are planning to bake gingerbread before Christmas. Risszemek. Grains of rice. Risszemek. Grains of rice. Risszemek hullottak a földre. Grains of rice fell on the floor. This word is difficult because you have 
two digraphs attached to each other in it. The first part of the word is rij, which means rice, and then semek, which means grains. So all together it's rij semek. Uzizhak, snack bag. Uzizhak, snack bag. Bepakoltad az uzizhak odat? Did you pack your snack bag? This word could be difficult because, again, three consonants are together in the middle of it. And then you kind of have to decide where one part of the word ends. So the first part is uzizh, and then comes zsák. So all together it's uzizhák. Viszontlátásra. Goodbye. Viszontlátásra. Goodbye. Viszontlátásra could be difficult because you have an N, T and L consonants all together. So when you practice, it's better to do it slowly. Viszontlátásra. And then when you're confident enough, you can say it more faster. Viszontlátásra. Want to improve writing in your target language? In this guide, you'll discover the top eight ways to practice and master writing with our lessons and learning program. Let's begin. Number one, write out the words and phrases by hand. One of the best ways to improve your writing is to simply write more. So write every word, phrase, and sentence that you learn in the lessons by hand in a notebook. You can write out the conversations from the dialogue study tool, example sentences from the lesson notes, and words and phrases from our vocabulary lists. Number two, take the writing quizzes. With every lesson, you get review quizzes to help you master what you've learned. Just scroll down to the vocabulary section or click on vocabulary. Click on take quiz, and then click on writing questions. Number three, leave a comment on the lesson. After you're done with the lesson, be sure to use what you've learned, whether a new word or a grammar point. Leave a comment in the comment section and our teachers will review it and give you feedback. Number four, dictation. Dictation is a study method where you write down what you hear as a way to test both your writing and listening skills. You can do this with any one of our audio and video lessons. This method is recommended for intermediate level learners and above. Number five, Create sentences using newly learned words. You can learn new words with our lessons, the word of the day, the vocab lists, and the core 2000 word list, which gives you the 2000 most frequently used words. And as mentioned before, you can also leave a comment with a practice sentence and our teachers will review it. Number six, write short messages to your Premium Plus teacher. Just write out a message and send it to your Premium Plus teacher for review. In fact, as a first step, all new Premium Plus users are asked to write a self-introduction and send it to their teacher. Your teacher will review your work, give you feedback, corrections, and help you improve your writing skills fast. Number seven, get writing assignments from your Premium Plus teacher. You can also get assignments that cover listening, writing, speaking, and even reading from your teacher. These assignments can be tailored to your goals and needs. You get a new one every week, or anytime you're ready for a new one. Number eight, get even more lessons in the lesson library. If you want even more writing lessons, then visit our lesson library and under category, choose reading and writing. You get instant access to all of the pathways and lessons that will help you master all areas of the language, including writing. You'll get all of our pathways and lessons that are dedicated to helping you master writing. So, if you're ready to finally learn language the fast, fun, and easy way, are you feeling confident as a beginner-level language learner? Are you ready to move up to the intermediate level? Here are some tips to help you make that leap and advance your language learning progress. Tip number one, determine your skill level. It's important to look across your skills in the major language competencies, listening, speaking, writing, and reading. By taking our level assessment test, you can review your skills in each competency and see your strengths and weaknesses. Keep in mind it's normal to be better in some skills than others. Premium Plus users can take our level assessment test and get personalized recommendations and learning pathways based on your results. 
Once you've figured out which skills need work, it's time to take action. No matter which of your language skills need to be improved, make sure you choose a method that's both effective and fun to help maintain your regular learning routine. Tip number two, listening. The most effective way to build your listening comprehension is by building a strong vocabulary. The more vocab you master, the easier it will be to understand the context and details of the conversation. Songs in the target language are a key listening tool that will teach you common, everyday vocabulary. By learning and memorizing the lyrics, you're building up your vocabulary. If you really want your listening skills to take off, listen to our podcasts. We have hundreds of hours of audio lessons for you to listen to. Before you know it, you'll be able to understand shows and movies. Tip number three, speaking. Add speaking elements to your language routine. Try shadowing podcasts, repeating along while you listen. Match the native speaker's pronunciation and intonation. This is a fantastic way to improve your fluency and accuracy. You can also find a partner for conversation exchange. A partner can help correct your mistakes and teach you more natural ways to phrase your ideas. Tip number four, writing. An easy way to start writing more often is by keeping a one sentence journal. Write one sentence in a journal every day. It doesn't take a lot of time and is a great habit for beginners to build a routine. You have to be consistent to make improvements. Ask native speakers to correct your writing to improve even faster. You can submit sentences and phrases to your teacher using Premium Plus. Tip number five, reading. Reading is a skill you can improve by yourself. There's no need to rush. It doesn't matter if you read one or 100 pages at a time. What matters is that you understand what you read. Write down new words as you read them to practice later. If there's an audio version, read along with the narrator. It'll help you read at a slightly faster speed than normal. You can use the audio that comes with each of our lessons. Bonus tip, never give up. Where do your language skills currently stand? Where do you want them to be? How do you get there? Whatever your goal is, make it clear and part of your life. You'll reach it if you stay focused and positive. And if you really want your skills to take off, make use of our tools and resources. They're designed to help you get to the next level in the fastest, easiest, and most fun way. Just click the link in the description to sign up for a free lifetime account. Can you really learn a new language all alone? Learning a language without traditional classroom instruction may seem quite daunting at first. What if you run into questions? How do you stay on track and motivated to achieve your goals? Don't worry, not only is it possible to learn any language without traditional classroom instruction, we have created an advanced and extensive online language learning system to help you do just that. It's designed to help you learn a language on your own and is faster, more convenient, and less expensive than traditional classroom options. Here are three reasons to learn a language alone. Number one, learn at your own pace and on your own schedule. In today's fast-paced world, there isn't always time for traditional classroom instruction. But when you learn alone, you can study anywhere and any time that suits your schedule best. It makes it far easier to actually reach your goal of learning and mastering the language. Number two, learning a language on your own can reduce stress and anxiety. In traditional classroom settings, there are pop quizzes, tests, and presentations in front of classmates. While it's valuable to learn public speaking skills and to be able to perform under pressure, for some people, these classroom pressures are a big hurdle for their language learning dreams. Learning alone, however, removes these stressors. Learning outside of a traditional classroom setting can help reduce some of the stress you may feel, and you can work towards your goals all on your own. Number three, learning alone can help improve cognitive function. While classroom settings often require learners to spend lots of time memorizing information and following instructions, studying a language on your own requires you to problem solve so that you can self-teach and hit your goals. You'll also need to be strict with yourself and stick to a regular study schedule. So yes, in some ways, learning a language on your own can be more challenging than learning in a traditional classroom setting. But teaching yourself a language pays dividends throughout life. In addition to learning a language, you'll also learn time management and problem-solving skills. These are skills that will aid you when social and professional opportunities arise. So, 
How do you actually learn a language on your own? Number one, access our huge collection of audio and video lessons. Ideally, you want audio and or video lessons that teach vocabulary, grammar, and provide actual conversations and dialogue in your target language to help you with real pronunciation. We have hundreds of hours of HD audio and video lessons on our website, created by professional teachers and actors to help you achieve perfect pronunciation. Plus, all lessons can be accessed 24-7 via any device with internet access. Number two, learning paths with courses based upon your exact needs and goals. Simply tell us your goals and we will identify the best courses and study plan to help you reach them in the shortest time possible. Even though you are technically learning a language on your own, our team is always here to help and make sure you reach your goals fast. Number three, use advanced learning tools. When you have the right tools and learning resources, it's actually easy to teach yourself a language. Over the last 10 years, we've developed, tested, and refined more than 20 advanced learning tools. These tools aim to boost retention and reduce learning time. Eliminate stress and start learning at your own pace, in bed, your car, or wherever you have a few spare minutes. Our learning resources and tools are designed to help you get to the next level in the fastest, easiest, and most fun way. Just click the link in the description to sign up for a free lifetime account. So if you want to learn language anytime, anywhere, sign up for a free lifetime account by clicking the link in the description. When learning a new language, we sometimes have a hard time with things like procrastination, discouragement, or failure. But don't panic. With a good strategy, you'll be able to overcome these difficulties. Are you ready to discover the four habits of successful learners? Number one, optimize your time. When learning a language, it's important to dedicate time to your studies regularly, even if sometimes it's difficult. You're busy with school, work, family, or friends, but you can spread out your learning throughout the day. Study whenever you have small gaps of time in your busy schedule. This can be when you're on the metro, on your lunch break, or while you're exercising. Our podcast learning format fits perfectly into your tight schedule. Number two, consistency with your chosen method. There are a lot of options when it comes to courses and learning materials. Switching from one method to another can confuse you and disrupt your progress. Focusing on one learning method will make a difference. Our method has been created and optimized by real teachers, so you can stick to it with confidence. Number three, use your language background. Many languages share some commonalities. You can find words that look or sound similar, or even share the same grammar structure. A little bit of language background will give you an edge while learning. Number four, study continuously. People are excited when they start learning a new language. The enthusiasm usually lasts until the first roadblock. This can lead to discouragement and procrastination. But don't burn yourself out. Learning a language is a marathon, not a sprint. Don't try to learn it all at once. Break things down into more digestible chunks. Learning step-by-step step might feel slow, but it's an efficient way to learn a language. With patience, motivation, and good resources, you'll master the language. Remember, you can't learn a language overnight, but with motivation and these daily lessons, you'll be on the road to fluency. Give it a try now. Sign up for your account. Just click the link in the description. Do you want to crush your language learning goals and overcome setbacks on the road to mastering a new language? In this video, you'll discover why learning goals are so vital to learning a new language and overcoming the inevitable setbacks you'll encounter on your way to mastering the language. Here are some useful strategies you can use to crush your goals. First, switch to strategic goals rather than general internal motivation. People are motivated to learn a second language for any number of reasons, including personal enrichment, better career opportunities, or even meeting new people. However, unlike simpler goals, which may only take a week or two to complete, learning a new language takes time and there will be occasional setbacks and failures. So to reach your overall objective of mastering a new language, you need to learn how to motivate yourself and stay focused on the bigger picture. To do so, it is vital to set specific strategic goals with an action plan. Second, reasons learning goals are vital to success. Learning an entire language well enough to carry on full conversations with native speakers is certainly a goal. But with this as your primary objective, there's a long period of time between the time the goal is set and when it can be realistically attained. 
The problem is that a failure to achieve an objective creates stress that can build until you either reach the learning goal or quit. The solution is to set more realistic strategic learning objectives that are easier to attain but still keep you on track to learning. Here are some examples of strategic learning objectives that you might set on your way to mastering a new language. Study for 10 minutes every day. Complete one lesson or chapter each week. Learn 20 new words each week. Or even learn one new word each day. The key here is that your learning goals and objectives need to be very concise, attainable, and relevant to your overall objective. As long as you can see progress towards your learning goal, your stress levels will be lower and you're far more likely to succeed. Next, to learn a new language or virtually any new skill, you'll need to make adjustments to your routine. Simply telling yourself that you want to be able to speak fluently probably won't force you to alter your daily or weekly routines. But when your strategic goals include learning a new word each day or a lesson every week, you're forced to alter your schedule to reach the goal or risk certain failure. Although altering your schedule may cause some minor degree of stress at first, the added motivation you get from achieving goals quickly eliminates any initial discomfort. And the more strategic goals you complete each day or week, the faster you can achieve your larger goal of mastering the language. The key to achieving goals includes learning how to deal with the inevitable setbacks and failures. The great part about setting smaller, attainable, strategic learning goals is that you can occasionally miss your objective, but quickly make up for it. So if you can't finish a lesson one week, it's entirely possible to either learn the lesson the following week or even do two lessons to make up for the initial failure. The point is that failing to achieve smaller strategic learning goals won't kill your motivation or derail your overall objectives. There are many ways to crush your language learning goals using our program. First, check out our custom learning paths, which are based on your specific goals. Learning paths are designed to help you reach your specific learning objectives by providing you with step-by-step -step strategic goals. So imagine you're about to travel and just wanted to learn enough essential language to navigate any potential emergency situations you might encounter. Our language learning program has created a custom learning path for your goal that includes just 10 lessons or strategic learning objectives. Once you complete the 10 lessons, your larger overall learning goal is complete. Learning paths are one of the most powerful features at our website and help you quickly and efficiently achieve larger learning goals and objectives. For Premium and Premium Plus members, our website offers more than 20 advanced learning tools to make it easier than ever to reach and achieve your goals. These include teacher feedback and comments for every lesson, full lesson transcripts and review tracks, voice recording tools to perfect your pronunciation, lesson review quizzes, and much more. Our language learning program makes it easier and more convenient to achieve your smaller strategic goals so you can quickly reach your larger overall objectives in less time and with less stress. Without setting realistic and attainable learning objectives and goals, your larger dream of mastering a new language might never be realized. Specifically, strategic objectives help to reduce stress, adjust your daily routine, and make it far easier to deal with the inevitable setbacks on your way to mastering a language. We've made it simple and easy for you to set and attain your strategic goals so you can successfully reach the larger goal of mastering your target language. Want to speed up your language learning? Take your very first lesson with us. You'll start speaking in minutes and master real conversations. Sign up for your free lifetime account. Just click the link in the description.